All right. Welcome, everyone, to our session today. Uh, today, we have with us Yesenia Resendez. She's our CIT and teacher at Dodines Elementary. She's going to be sharing some insights with you on vocabulary integration with Google Classroom. So, Yesenia, take it away. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Ms. Resendez, and um, I'm from Dodines Elementary. I'm going to share with you all a little bit of what vocabulary is and then um, show you how to assign something that you would like to assign, um, like a video or the activities, how to assign them to your Google Classroom. It's fairly easy, um, not a lot of steps to it. Let me just go ahead and show the live website so we can scroll through it. So in case you're new to vocabulary or you haven't used it before, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of what it is. So, all right, so um, if you log into vocabulary that we have actually paid for the, from the district, which is great, right, um, you can actually bring any of your lessons um, to life, right, and you can introduce any kind of curriculum. They do have a lot of videos, right, it just takes um, taking the time to search for them. Um, I know it's also um, integrated with Nearpod, and um, so you're also able able to launch a Nearpod and also launch a vocabulary at the same time through there. But you're also more than welcome to just go directly to vocabulary, which is what I'm going to show you today, and how to assign some the the extra activities that go with that. So, vocabulary includes a video. It comes with the vocabulary cards that is meant to target that skill that you're teaching. It comes with a little vocabulary game that the kids can play. Um, it does come with a reading passage or a little um, snippet of what the kids learn from the video, and then they get to respond to the questions. You also have a quiz, and then, of course, you have the lyric lab, and that's where the kids get to create a song of their own using the vocabulary for the video or the subject that you uh, chose to display in your classroom. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of a video of what vocabulary looks like and how you can get started. You're not sharing your sound, Yesenia. It's not sharing sound? Correct. Okay, let me let me go back and do that. Um, if you kind of oh, hover at the top of your yes. screen with your mouse, you should be able to share. Okay, got it. Let me go back. Hi, I'm Emily. I used to be a fourth grade teacher before I joined the vocabulary team. If you're new to vocabulary, I found it's best to go short and simple. In 15 to 20 minutes, you can share a video with your class, have a discussion, and have students take a short quiz. That approach is a great way to start to get to know our content and lesson sequence. The videos are awesome. Most often the whole class watches together and students sing along and sometimes dance. You could also assign the video to be watched as homework and then debrief about it the next day. A great thing about assigning it that way is that they can watch it at a speed that works best for them. After the video is a great time for discussion. I know a lot of teachers come up with their own prompts, but they're psyched to learn that they can also use discuss mode, where questions will just pop up throughout the video. Students turn and talk to a partner, and then they share out. Sometimes there's really great debate. Sometimes students make amazing connections to other things that they're studying. It's a really great way to get everyone in your class involved. After the video and the discussion, there's a quiz to get a sense of how much they've learned. The 10 questions cover a combination of content, skills, and vocabulary from the lesson. Teachers often assign it to their students to do online. It's auto-graded and there's a comprehension analysis which will tell you the pieces that you might want to reteach. If you don't want to do it online, you can always print the quiz instead. So that's it. Those three pieces, the discussion and the quiz. They will get students engaged, talking, listening, and learning core content. 
Teachers get a lot of use out of the other great activities in Flocabulary, but I recommend using that short and simple sequence if you're just starting out. Okay, so what I did like about Flocabulary was it kind of gave you a lesson guide on how to do the classroom implementation. So they suggest that you watch your video, right, which should take about five minutes. Your vocabulary card should take about 10 minutes. And then you can watch your video in discuss mode, which is what Nearpod also has. So if you launch a vocabulary video from Nearpod, that's where you'll have the discuss mode and it'll have um, questions for the students to answer. But if you go directly through vocabulary, it has that as well. And then uh, that should take about 10 minutes. A group quiz should take about five minutes. And then your Lyric Lab, which is where the students get to create and compose their own song with the vocabulary um, in a small group, right, would take about 15 minutes. And then you would watch your video, the watch the video one more time, right, for five minutes. Then you would do an independent read and respond for 10 minutes. And then your individual quiz, right, would take 15 minutes. And so this would be kind of how you let the vocabulary, the entire vocabulary lesson that you have on your plan flow throughout the, throughout your class time, right? So I really did like that because it gives you a little bit of understanding of how long it should take to implement all the different stuff that vocabulary has. All right, so how to assign Google Classroom. I am going to go over this step by step in a minute. Um, one of the most important things, though, that you have to make sure you do is under, in order for you to assign directly to Google Classroom, you must import your class first. Um, because right now, if you have an account with Flocabulary, it kind of just has your, it has a class inside of Flocabulary. Like the kids can get on it through Clever, but if you want it to come out directly on their Google Classroom, you would have to import your Google Classroom um, class, right? So I also have a little flyer that I'm going to share out with all, um, with snippets of everything that you have to click on in order to get there. So the very first thing, right, would be, of course, to import your class. Once your class has already been imported, um, you're going to select the vocabulary lesson you'd like to do, and it would look like this. So let me go ahead and model it. All right, so once you log into your vocabulary, um, you'll get this main page. And you can either search for something pertaining to the lesson that you're wanting to teach, or you can select on the subject that you would like to teach. And they have everything on here. They have reading, they have math, science, social studies, and anything that deals with, like, separating content vocabulary um, by, like, different topics, right? So, and even life skills, which I thought was pretty cool, right? Because those are little things that we probably don't have time to teach, and you can kind of just assign little video and have a little bit of discussion about it. So I'm going to just go ahead and go to math. Um, now, um, let's say this week I kind of really wanted to reinforce um, long division, right? I know that that's what I'm working on right now. So they have something on long, long division, so I would go ahead and click it. And then this is where you would assign your video. And so this is where it has all the different stuff that you can do that I mentioned earlier. There's the vocabulary cards. They look like this, which is great. So the kids can actually look at them, right? They can write the word or type the word, which is great practice for them too, right? This is also a neat homework assignment that like if you have a kid who's struggling with a vocabulary and a parent wants to know how to help them, I mean, they're able to do this at home too, right? And then they would go next, and they get to study the next vocabulary word. It even lets them draw, like if they wanted to draw what a hundred looks like, right? They would draw the a hundred. So it's pretty neat, right? It's very interactive. There's a lot the kids can do. Then they have the vocabulary game, and so the students get to hear a little beat with the song. And it says the number 612 has a one in the tenth place, right? But if they get it wrong, it'll tell them, right, that it's incorrect and to try again. So then 
they would go through it, right? And so it's really neat. So the kids are interacting, they're seeing the vocabulary, they're seeing images that go with it. Then it has the questions of what kids, these are the questions that also come out in the discussion mode. So it's really neat, right? Because if they saw it in the video and they discussed it with their peer, then they'll be able to answer these questions correctly once you assign the breakdown to them. And then you have a little bit of a read and respond, which is nice, right? Because we want our kids reading and writing all the time. Then you have their little mini quiz, their mini quiz, which is kind of cool. What is the order of steps for a long division problem? That's exactly what the kids need to know, right? They need to know the steps. And then this is a fun part, right? Where the kids get to start making their own little song and it tells them to do a little line, et cetera. And then they can choose a beat. So it just takes a little bit of practice, right? Working with the kids. So like, let's say you look through all of this and you kind of said, okay, this is what I like or this is what I'm able to do with vocabulary today, you would go to assign. And then once your class is imported, it would show up here, right? And so one of those classes is my vocabulary class on Clever, and the other one is on Google Classroom. I'm just going to select both. You would select your activities and your date. So let's say um, I said, okay, I just want them to watch the video. I want them to study the vocabulary. And then I want them to do the quiz. And then in groups, I'm going to let them work on the lyric club, right? So then you can customize your prompt as well. But usually it's about the same thing, right? Because they're going to write a song. So write a rhyme about long division using the vocabulary words. And it says try to write at least four lines. And so then at the bottom, it'll say that it's visible starting the day that you assign it. And then what you would select your due date. So like, let's say I'm going to assign it today. I'm going to put it on the 8th. And then you would have to click on this bottom button that says uh, share assignment to Google Classroom. And so then it would create your assignment. Okay, and then it'll say assignments created and shared to Google Classroom. And then your students, when they go to Google Classroom, they'll be able to see that it was assigned to them on their stream, right? And then they'll go up there, go inside the link, and then they'll sign in as well, right? And the kids have vocabulary on Clever, so it should recognize their, their sign-in with Google. So then they would do that, and then that's how you would get your lesson going, right? So super easy. I am going to share the snippet of how to, um, one, import your classroom, and two, how to assign it to vocabulary. And then last but not least, I am going to show um, a little uh, showcase of how students have used it in my classroom in the past. I haven't used it this year. Hopefully, I do get around to it pretty soon. Um, but I did use it last year, and the kids really like I mean, I've used the videos. I just haven't had the kids come up with their own song yet, right? So hopefully I get to get around to that. But this is just this little showcase of what kids can do if you give them the power to, to create something, right? And they had a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and show this showcase. Thank <laughs> you. 
sharing a like doing it together as a class right so you can kind of say okay we're going to create a song together kind of get the the jitters out for the students right because i'm pretty sure at the beginning trying something that's out on their own right it might be a little bit intimidating but you can try and say okay we're going to create a song as a class together based on what you know about the vocabulary and you'll start to see that kids will like you know they'll start giving their ideas they'll create stuff and then they'll be able to sing it and i know that kids at this age write songs, songs and learning through videos, it's like big for them, right? So they're able to remember what they're learning because they hear it in a beat, they hear it in the song, and they're using the vocabulary. And I think vocabulary is like one of the biggest factors that we have when it comes to doing well, right, academically, right? Our students need a lot of vocabulary. So vocabulary really, really helps with that. And it's fun, it's engaging. I mean, I, I, I've never had a kid, like, not get excited about vocabulary in my classroom because it, it's, it tailors to their generation, right? The beats are fun, and they're, they're seeing all these visuals, and so they really enjoy it. And I've shared it with coworkers as well, and ever since we've jumped on the vocabulary train, like, that's all we use for our videos to kind of hook our kids and get them used to... Um, the vocabulary that they're going to be exposed to throughout the day. So that's it. Um, I, I am going to share the little graphic. Um, or I believe Debbie has the graphic, right? Um, she's going to go ahead and share it out. That way you know how to go step by step on how to assign things. And thank you so much for having me today. Thank you, Yesenia. If anyone has any questions, let us know. You can either just unmute and ask or put it in the chat. I did share the step-by-step -step already in the chat that Yesenia is telling you about and a copy of her presentation today. And if you came in a little bit late, um, we will be having this uh, recording up on our Instructional Technology YouTube channel. So you can always go back and uh, see our past trainings on there. And uh, Or if you forgot a step or something, you can always go back and do that. So thank you so much. Uh, for being here today, we are going to have a raffle, so stick around for that. I don't see any questions, so we will go ahead and, and do our raffle. We're just going to thank everyone for coming today and stop the recording. And